Hello everyone! In this video, I will demonstrate various tools and search strategies in the Nursing and Allied Health database in order to help you locate the various articles needed for your course. To get to Nursing and Allied Health, you can select the link provided in the Nursing 378 Research Guide. If you are accessing this database off campus, you will need to log in with your W number and six digit birthday. When you select the link, you are redirected to Nursing and Allied Health's Advanced Search page. We will discuss three different tools here, wording your topic, searching only allowed journals, and applying relevant filters. In the top search bar, you can enter your topic. You should consider if there are any synonyms or related terms to include. For example, if I am searching for research related to skin, then dermis, epidermis, and hypodermis, the three primary layers of skin, would be related terms. If you are connecting synonyms or related terms, then you should do so with OR and parentheses. Using OR means that you will find results that mention at least one keyword. The parentheses will help organize the search once we add in our additional components. In the second search bar, you can limit your results to only articles appearing in allowed journals. To do this, enter the title of the journal or journals in which you wish to search. You should put the title of the journal in quotation marks, which will search for the exact journal title. You should put OR between each separate journal title. For example, if I wanted to search just the Journal of Pediatric Nursing and Evidence-Based Nursing, then I would enter Journal of Pediatric Nursing or Evidence-Based Nursing into the second search bar. Each separate title is in quotation marks, and the whole thing is in parentheses. Then, select the drop-down menu to the right labeled Anywhere Except Full Text dash NOFT. From the drop-down menu, select Publication Title dash PUB. This change means the entered journal titles will be searched for only if they are exact matches. Underneath the search bar, there is an area labeled Limit 2. This area has many filters that we can use to further narrow our results based on particular needs. For your searches, there are three useful filters. The peer-reviewed filter allows you to specify that you only want articles from peer-reviewed journals. You can select this box to apply this filter. The publication date limiter allows you to specify a date range for your articles. To specify your range, select Specific Date Range from the drop-down menu. Then, specify your start and end date. For example, at the time of this recording, it is 2021. A five-year range would be from 2016 to 2021. I will enter 2016 in the Year box under Start and 2021 in the year box under end. You do not need to enter a month or a day. This will limit my results to only articles published between the years 2016 and 2021. In the box labeled Language, select the box next to the word English in order to apply this filter. At this point we have fully prepared our search. In our first search box we have our keywords. In the second search box, we have the journals from which we want our articles. We have three different filters, all of which specify different requirements, in place. Now we can select the search button. My search has 251 results, and I know that each of them meets all the requirements I need. You may be asked to select articles where at least one author is a nurse. To check if the author is a nurse or not, we can look in a couple of places. We can select the Abstract Details view to see the article's full information. When I select Abstract Details, I am redirected to a page that lists all publication information, subjects, and the abstract for the article. In the section labeled Author, we see a full list of authors. Their credentials will be listed after their name. For example, this result has one author who is an RN, which is short for Registered Nurse. That allows me to know that this author is a nurse. We can also look at the full text of the article to determine if any author is a nurse. 
the author's credentials are often listed on the first or last page of the article. For example, I will look at the PDF for this title, Perioneal Dialysis Access Management More Than Skin Deep. When I select Full Text PDF, I am redirected to a PDF copy of the article. Towards the bottom of the first page, there is a box that lists the author's credentials, BSN or Bachelor of Science in Nursing, RN or Registered Nurse, CNN or Certified Nephrology Nurse, and CPDN or Certified Perioneal Dialysis Nurse. This information allows me to see that the author is a nurse. I hope you find this video helpful in navigating nursing and allied health and locating the articles you need. As always, if you need any help, please don't hesitate to contact me.